Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about Liatris pycnostachia vachox, otherwise known as prairie blazing star, Kansas gay feather, button snake root, or just gay feather. Now gay feather is a herbaceous perennial plant that grows to be about 0.6 to 1.2 meters tall. This species is commonly used in native plant gardens or prairie restorations because it provides food for wildlife while producing beautiful flowers. These flowers are occasionally used by florists in floral arrangements. Additionally, gay feather has a long root system that can penetrate more than 10 feet down into the soil. If we take a look at a distribution map of gay feather in North America, we can see that it's native to mostly the central United States, but also some of the northeastern United States and a little bit of Canada. In the northeast, gay feather can be a bit aggressive if you're wanting to add this species to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 3 through 9. When it comes to gay feathers natural environment, it prefers areas that are sunny and it can withstand decent moisture and dryness. However, if there is severe drought, it may not be able to survive. Some habitats gay feather can be found in include prairies, roadsides, and forest openings. Now, when it comes to the stem of gay feather, it is slightly pubescent and has the leaves arranged on it in an alternating pattern. It may be confusing to tell if the leaves are going in an alternating pattern. They're very close together and appear to be forming a spiral. Now, the leaves themselves are green, sessile, simple, linear, have a smooth margin, and have a light-colored midrib. The leaves may also be slightly pubescent depending on the plant. Additionally, the leaves at the base of the plant will be longer than those at the top of the plant. Lastly, some mammals such as rabbits and deer will feast upon the foliage of the gay feather. Gay feather blooms July to October, and when it does, it produces a long terminal purple to pink inflorescence containing many sessile cylindrical flower heads that each contain four to ten star-shaped disc florets. The flower heads have no ray florets, but each disc flower is perfect, so it has many stamen and a two-branched pistil. Additionally, the calyx is represented by feathery white pappus. Lastly, gay feather is pollinated by bees, moths, flies, butterflies, and beetles. After pollination takes place in about September to November, brown akenes with a dry pappus form. These seeds are dispersed by the wind. However, gay feather has a thick corm which supports its very fibrous root system and allows it to occasionally reproduce asexually. Lastly, birds will eat the seeds produced by this species. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoy learning about gay feather, otherwise known as Liatris pycnostachia with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.